All right, and welcome back to season two, episode three of Jerry's Online Fights. This is R Strain, aka Reaper Strain 006, as your commentator. And let's see what we're dealing with today. Uh, looks like uh, Jerry versus T Hawk. The title of the video is called The Sweet Science of Boxing. So, a bit of an intro for this video is that uh, usually you wind up against stronger characters like uh, either Zangief or as I call him, Zangief 2.0, which is T-Hawk. Uh, I get, I kind of get in the mindset that you know, have to think like a boxer and like, uh, kind of like, you know, like, because I know it's going to be like a long match. So it's like, okay, I got to do this, get him tired, you know, fake him out a little bit here and there, try to work my way in. When he's uh, not expecting it, get in, get out, use launch elite tactics, and uh, most importantly, just use fireballs to uh, just make him angry and frustrate him. So let's see um, what I do here. And this is this guy's mate, and he's from Japan. So, alright. That's bullshit, you know it. The battle has begun! An ambiguous cross up, he wins. The right. Let's keep it up. Said. So, uh, let's see what I can do. Alright, I just rocked this world. That's some bullshit. That shit hit. It's like, okay, we're choosing a medium fireball. It should automatically, like, have, like, hit part of my hat part of my uh, hit box. Like, when it crouches, it's like, it's like going right through the character. It's like, how can I fix that shit? Yeah, it's right there, like, before I was trying to set up, like, a uh, zoning offensive. And, uh, I can, you can't really do it with Jerry because I'm um, only. 
Because the only like offensive she can like do are like her fireballs is like when you like just like a low fireball. And like, she does like medium like a medium like this like, fireball. It's like you know this is the most character goes in the air. See, fireballs just keep going right to the character's head. It's like it's hitting them, but it's like oh no, the thoughts are kicking out. I, I can complain about it until I'm blue in the face, but I know Cap kind of went to a damn thing about it. It's like, I keep telling people that Jerry needs to be fixed even further. And like, other, some people say that she's, um, she's an unfair character or a new character because uh, of her pinwheel, but that's bullshit. Mostly from what I've seen from Jerry is that, okay, she's mainly a uh, juggling type character, which in Street Fighter does not mix well. Because in Street Fighter, when you fight people, you rarely have opportunities to like um, juggle them. Or if you do manage to juggle them, it's only like maybe like once or twice. Off of like one attack. And that's it. Like, how I feel about Jerry is that I think she wasn't intentionally made for this game. Like, she was just thrown in just like for the sake of convenience or like, oh, she's a new character with a new uh, skill set. And so we're just going to toss her in, see what happens. And I think that's why most people tried her for like two weeks and they just dropped her because she's a. Uh, because she was crap. Now, I know throughout the, uh, not Vanilla Street Fighter, but through uh, Super A2011 and A2012, I know Capcom tried to, you know, fix her, um, tried to fix her here and there, or, you know, just do tweaks, but for the most part, it's just her, you know, she's still, I wouldn't say broken, 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 but she's, uh, she's still, she still needs a lot of work. Like in the Street Fighter universe, I know, I don't know about in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, or uh, how she handles, but uh, you know, from what I'm seeing, from from what I saw, like on YouTube and other and other videos that um feature, she's still pretty much the same as in uh, AE 2012. I don't know if her fireballs have been fixed, but someone like someone you know within the Capcom company needs to go into the game, like not not just go into the game, but just like fix her character and make her fireballs like okay, like okay, see like. Her medium fireball, it just goes straight through people's heads. And it's like, okay, you see the fireball making contact with the person's head, yet the hitbox isn't like confirming that it's a hit, and it's just flying, you know, to the character. That doesn't make sense. It's like, okay, it should like just make contact with the character and just apply chip damage if they're blocking. However, the computer thinks she's uh, it's the guy, and like when she's firing on like a fireball like overhead, it's like uh, they can just duck under it. With Ryu, you can't pull that off. With Ken, you can't pull that off. Because when they fire a fireball, it hits when you're either standing or you're crouching. Which I think is unfair. But I'm not saying the game's really biased towards certain, certain characters, but it, it, but from you know from what I've seen like on tournament circuits, on you for like via YouTube or from like how the way people play online, it's that you know people just just pick the characters that are you know like uh, lag friendly. And are you know basically uh, you know can get the job done without the most work being put in. That's how I feel sometimes. That's me on a bad day though. But enough rambling. Let's uh, get into the second fight, which is uh, against my secondary character, uh, Ibuki. And this is in America, so let's get down to it. But I do feel that way that, you know, like, with the characters you have to work with, to actually get good with them, like, a Jerry or a Buki, 
It's like they get treated like shit to like compared to not compared to characters that are like easy to learn like Ryu or Ken. Because with Jiri, you can only fuck up once and you're dead. Same thing with Buki. Well, maybe you can fuck up like twice with Buki and you're dead, but other than that, it's like, uh, yeah. But yeah, you can fuck up all day and still want to fight. But I'm not hate. Maybe a little hate, but not, not a lot of hate. I think when I ran some fish move, I think the other guy was like trying to go for that intentionally. You see, he's trying to go for a target combo or uh, maybe like a next person. Oh, yeah. Really, right now I'm recording. I can't do it. You guys might uh, see me uh, do a message real quick so I just got to let them know that uh, I can't really play like, because I'm recording for you guys. But uh, I'll do it after the fight. Tell him I'm recording. Let's see. You can see my friends list. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So you guys got to see uh, my uh, friends list on PSN for for a minute. <laughs> Bit of an uh, impromptu uh, messaging there. Let's see. So why can I counterattack? Okay, in this fight, I think uh, I think I titled "Why Can I Counterattack" was because. Uh, because of uh, Ken had you know massive frame advantages over Jerry, and uh, once you have a frame advantage over somebody in a Street Fighter, it's like basically it shuts the other character down completely, and they can't do crap to like uh, stop you know receiving to stop receiving punishment. So that's another thing I get on about this game too is that you know like you know it's like if the other kid like it's like well you know priority situations it's like okay it's like if I hit a button and I know my kid came out first. The other guy can press a button too, like almost at the same exact time, and their kick or their attack I like, overprioritizes my attack, and they get a hit, and I you know just receive damage. Even though I knew that I had to, that my attack was coming out first, because I saw my character, I saw my character animating first before the other character. Doesn't matter if it's like a quick attack, medium attack, or first attack. It's like well, it does matter with frames, but. Again, I'm fighting with a PS3 controller and a stick, so you know frames don't really matter when it comes to a controller because you know the controller always loses out, loses out like 100% of the time. So let's see what happens in this fight. And uh, 
think maybe slightly range, so I don't know. It was against a British guy. So yeah. Your destiny will be determined here. I'm ready for you. Bring it on. The battle has begun! Fight! Hadouken! Hadouken! Still stinks. Still stinks. Alright. And the battle continues. Fight! Yeah! Hello, Ken! 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 And he's using the first version of it too, so it's like it does like a fish hook damage. Because the lights are uh, lights are on fire. He just keeps doing it. That's the reason why I say this move is overpowered. That move that move is severely OP, and that shit needs to be nerfed. <laughs> but every character can use it. And that's pretty much every freaking character in a street fighter. Oh, in this version of Street Fighter. Say that if you have an indestructible move, I can bust through all of my shit. So, you know, I think it's time for one more fight. Let's see. Guess the next one's a loss. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. But it's against a French Adon player. But, uh, okay, C. Alright, see what happens. Let's see how he mix it up. See, Azon has uh, dive kicks. Jerry has dive kicks. Azon has, yeah, Azon. Azon <laughs> has rising kicks. And Jerry has uh, pinwheel, which is ineffective for the majority of his uh, rotations. And has shitty hitboxes. I'll show you just how strong I am! Will the 
Okay, Nat looks like it's going to wrap. Nat looks like uh, it's going to be the end of this session because it's uh, it's uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes in. And uh, I don't like these videos to be too short or too long, so I think 20 minutes is uh, it's an appropriate time. So this is our string, aka Reaper String 006. Uh, saying, see you when I see you. Peace out. Stay out of trouble.